captive legislation was first enacted in 1981. There was a small group of people who were impressed with the business. They thought it would have a significant economic benefit to a small state like Vermont, and they were right. Vermont is known as the gold standard, and so I think it's that commitment for 40 years straight, um, always to support the industry that has led to Vermont being known as the gold standard. The rating agencies trust Vermont. The reinsurers trust Vermont, that we are doing things the right way. And so it just builds on itself. You've got a governor, Republican or Democrat, whoever it is, it's totally committed to maintaining the Vermont edge. You've got a legislature that has consistently made adjustments in the law when that's required. The captive industry is so important to this state. It's important for the revenue it brings in, it's important for the jobs it creates. It's important because it shines a positive light on the state as a place to do business overall. You know, the premium tax revenue from captives is about $25 million a year. That's very substantial, but it's not really where the economic benefit really is. The benefit is jobs, 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 and jobs, and clean jobs. The industry is made up of a large infrastructure of service providers. The largest captive insurance association is based in Vermont with about 500 members. All of those different organizations bring about 400 direct high-paying jobs for Vermonters with benefits and pay on average about $91,000 a year. The economic benefit to the state is significant. It's, it's the salaries, the, the individuals that are hired within the industry, the direct implications to those hires, but the hotels, the restaurants that also feed off that. You know, studies have shown that there are hundreds and hundreds of good jobs that are created through the captive insurance industry that we would not otherwise have. But what separated us from other domiciles and even today competing with major offshore domiciles like Cayman and Bermuda is the business-friendly environment. Vermont's domicile is a really good environment to do business with. They understand the industry development, the trend, and what's the most important for this industry, what we really need from the, the domicile. So all these things are really important for, for us to make decisions until we can make it happen. Being domiciled in Vermont has played a great role in United Educators' ability to innovate and evolve over time. Those who regulate the businesses appear to be well understood by those who write the laws and vice versa. So as a captive, what more could you ask for? Vermont has really been intentional about updating our statutes and being innovative and meeting the needs of the captive insurance industry. Our legislature and public officials are really supportive of the captive insurance industry. That has really allowed us to grow and maintain our leadership around the world. Mm -hmm.